and we're here checking out the Lattice Semiconductor um, FPGA right here. And hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Yuzi Shimaima from Lattice Semiconductor Japan. And this we are demonstrating our uh, latest FPGA demonstration, which is a GenQubit uh, convolutional neural network into our smallest FPGA. So you do AI? Yes, AI inside of this chip, without using any cloud service. So how does it work? So we implement a neural network into this small FPGA. And you see, it's detecting a hand gesture, it will detect three signs we can see. Rock, oh. scissor, and power, cool. paper. So there's a little camera there? Yes, this IR sensor is located here. Just IR sensor? Yes. And because of the neural network, it can recognize different hands, different shape, different it depends, angles. Yeah. If, if it's customer uh, trying another network, yes, they can recognize, uh, recognize detecting other objects. Nice. Is this already in the market or is it brand new? Uh, it's screen? brand new. It's so brand new just, demonstration. It's because FPGA, you can do everything you want. Oh, yeah. So you can put a neural network yeah. or you can do other things with the same chip. Yes. So can you show some other demo with the Sure. Chip? Why don't we go over there? Yeah. This is more larger. This is it there? Yeah. Uh, yes. That one? So inside here, what is it doing? It's also another neural network AI is doing. So kind of we are detecting a human human presence. There's a number of human it detecting. And one one box showing that where we detect a human 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 being. So you can detect all the humans with a small FPGA? Yes. Very small one? Uh, it's still a little bit larger. Well, this is our largest FPGA in our lineup. Yes. Yes, but it still has a uh, 10 by 10 millimeter. Behind in a, in a second, second ball. Yeah. Second ball. Do you have it here also? Uh, yeah. is this, this one is completely another one. It's not a neural network or AI. Yeah. It's a security. Is this the big chip? Is that your chip? Yes. It's our test chip. Nice. Uh, this one is implementing uh, some security hardware engine inside the FPGA. So it will detect, it will protect the entire system. The entire system will protect multiple farmers from any hardware attacks. Nice. Uh, is this the same as the one before? Uh, it's also using different using FPGA, but a different implementation. Implementations. So this is really a 3D depth sensor. We are using a still camera here, the camera here, and detecting in a, some grayscale is showing us some distance difference. You know. Nice. So this is just so many um, <laughs> implementations of the... Here you're doing some uh, IoT stuff. IoT stuff. Is this neural network also? Or no? Neural network, yes. Yeah. Yeah. IoT signal application. Yeah. This yeah. one for uh, temperature sensor here. Yeah. Now let's go to this RFGA and aggregating similar chip. So, um, Lattice has been doing FPGA for a long time? Yes, we are around 35 years. 35? Yep. So, did Lattice invent the FPGA or? No. One the first? Last one is Flavix. Is it top three or something? This uh, uh, FPGA for a few companies. Recently, we are fourth position. Mm -hmm. It was a fourth, 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 fourth position. Fourth position. Uh, and then uh, here's this is another. You have the Latus chip right here. Yes, this is our also our partner. He's making some kind of a, in a assistant tool to designing a neural network. He's a company using our FPGA here, and they are using. Uh, Neural network engine here. And nice. Using a combined with PC, it's users can easily to start uh, start designing neural network. Uh, two three years ago, uh, Lattice acquired uh, Silicon Image, right? Yes. Uh, so that means all this stuff is also part of. Uh, but that's a different uh, section. Uh, different. But it's also part of the company. Yes, part of the company. But we really focusing for FPGA recently. Yeah. In this booth, it's just about FPGA. Just FPGA. Yeah. And if you go around here, there's some other stuff going on here with this kind of stuff. This is. Um, this one is a human detection. Also, the human detection. Another human detector. This is a face recognition. So it can recognize my face. Also, recognize my face. Yeah. 
guys how many faces come through. And uh, what is this? Is that what you call Sensei I? So the Sensei as part of your portfolio is under FPGA? Sensei I is our neural network development uh, st stacks. So including hardware, evaluation board, and the neural network IP core, and the compiler, and the different design, and the supporting design service. Is it open source? Uh, yes, open source, and also some part is in uh, which are some IPs, but it's completely stuck to the AI. So people can customize it for exactly what they want? Yes. And accelerate even more, some other face, face solution right here. And this one? This one is also this one. Video interface bridge. We have a two hardware MIPI yeah. interface transceivers and another, another direction we have on a configurable project. We have IOs. So we can bridge MIPI interface to another or another to MIPI interface. So we can have a bridge. And that's useful for for VR or camera or something in a video interface, which not directly connect to camera to system on chip. Tra translate, put it over. Here. So it's about they all the production chips. And they are switching four cameras for them. And switching those images. Nice. So real time stitching. Yeah. Here's a going on here. All right. So is Lattice Semiconductor is American company? Or? Yes, American company. But uh, what's the office in Japan? Or? Yes, we have Japanese office, Japan office here. What's happening in Japan? All this stuff? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, we are, of course, we are part of the company. So our headquarters and our Silicon Valley office and the Shanghai office and, uh, we, and uh, Japan office, we work together to design those solutions. Some very advanced and millions of devices are using in the world, right? Oh, this yes. It's big. It's everywhere. It's in cars. Yes, some cars. Airplanes, in industries, everything. consumers, wide variety of customers we have.